guys, Johnny Clash here joining you from 4th and B in San Diego at the Heavy Metal Halloween Bash. And I'm joined by three sweaty guys, just how I like it. We're going to go left to right, interview them, and uh, ask them a couple of poking and prodding questions. To my left, who's this guy? I'm Jason Lee. I'm the singer for OU812. What? <laughs> you totally threw me off. I love that about you. And to my right? Uh, I'm Dave. I play bass in the Van Halen tribute bands and the Bon Jovi band. I'm John Shimon, and also the same, Van Halen and the Bon Jovi tribute. Where are your costumes? That's what I'm wondering. Did you guys take them off? or? We kind of did a little switch, you know, a little change -o, you know, out of the Van Halen stuff into the 80s stuff. So they're kind of like off, half off, sweaty. <laughs> so well, wait, okay, that's that's understandable. We've got bullets here. Got yeah. Bullets. <laughs> they don't, they're not real bullets, are they? They kind of look real, actually. Um, is this your guys' first time performing at Fourth and B? No, we, uh, we've been here play. I mean, we've been various different bands playing for about 10 years here. Okay. Yeah. And how long have you been a tribute band? Um, I think the well the Van Halen band OU812 that side of it has been together for about eight years, um, but this this kind of version of it's only been together for about 18 months. It was started by our guitar player Angel Lanos. He's really the brains behind all the Van Halen stuff that was going on tonight. He's he, he's been working on about eight, ten years. He's been in it about a year or two. I came uh, right around the same time the drummer did. Me and John, we kind of came in together, man, and uh, it's been great. I mean, it's it's been hard work, but, you know, I mean, because Van Halen isn't like learning, you know, three-chord punk rock songs. Everybody in this band, these two guys, myself and the guitar player, have all had their work cut out for them. And Scott, too, the guy that plays David Lee Roth for us tonight. The guy that plays in every other band that, you know, that tonight and probably yeah. will be cleaning the place when we're done. He's the MVP. That really MVP. wasn't David Lee Roth? Oh, my God. Nice. It's pretty good luck. Wait, yeah, 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 actually, Dave would be a little cheaper. Yeah. You know, I think he would cost us less money. Less of a prima donna, right? Less yeah. high maintenance. You guys had a lot of energy up there. Do you guys get like a lot of uh, people from the audience shouting like requests at you and do, do you ever take them or do you just pretty much have like your own set list? I ask you guys. All the, all the time we take requests. Well, I mean our first big show was in St. Louis with a new lineup you know what I mean and and we just did it was Sammy's Beach Bar and Grill you know we were in the boss's house no pressure and it was in Harris Casino in St. Louis and there's some hardcore fans in there and we had like three hours to do all by ourselves. And we nailed it. And, and they want to hear, you know, we want to hear this song. Stuff we've never even heard before. And you got to know it. You got to be on your mark. Because tribute bands are like no other band. They're for the hardcore fans. And they want to hear all those songs. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty hardcore. I mean, we didn't really write the songs, or we really weren't at that era. But, you know, at least, I mean, we grew up listening to it. So at least we can do some form of, you know, and play it and, you know, get some sort of fun out of it. And hopefully people get what we're doing. Do you guys have any interesting uh, groupie stories, like tribute groupies? You guys are a tribute band. I'm going to plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> what about you? Uh, what's a groupie? <laughs> Was there a question about groupies? <laughs> I want some juicy groupie stories. You guys can't be tight-lipped about this. Come on, one good story for our fans, for the audience. I've got one. We were in the St. Louis airport and we were walking around. Uh, we had our guitars and everything, and this girl kept following us around. And we're like, we don't know what's going on, right? You know, like who is it? She keeps looking and looking, and finally she comes up. Going. She goes, "Are you the guys in Nickelback?" <laughs> You know, because he looks like the guy in Nickelback, right? Chad Kroger, yes. He's this girl almost followed me into the bathroom. He's such a champ. He's like, hey, just don't tell anybody. We missed our private plane. I swear that happened to us three times in the hotel. One time, the night before the show, I, I the guy coming, he like followed me all the way around the casino. He goes, hey, man, I just want to tell you, I really like those songs. I've been a fan of Nickelback from forever. And so I said, no, you know what? I appreciate it, but I'm not who you think I am. He goes, oh, no, that's all right. I understand. You should have just went along with it. I know. I could have got a couple drinks. <laughs> well, let me just tell you guys, you're way better than Nickelback will ever be. Do you guys have a Facebook page that fans can check you out on? Yeah. Um, OUA12band.com. And that will link to everything else that we have, yeah. I think. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, you guys. And uh, hopefully you had fun tonight just as much as I did. That was good. And uh, thank you so much. Hopefully we'll check you out on Facebook, too. Any, any final words? Rock on. Thank you. Thank you. The world needs more rock and roll. <laughs> OUA12band.com is the best Van Halen tribute band in the universe. Hi, Mark. 
Check him out, guys. Not Nickelback. Johnny Clash with Front Row Entertainment.